All right, y'all, let's talk homework. So as I said, uh, for Wednesday, two days from now, I want you to get problems one through four done. And then I want you to choose one of the problems from five through eight. And what I want to do is, in this video, I'm going to talk about problem number two. And in the next video, I'm going to actually talk about problem number three. I had that backwards. So um, let's go ahead. And this is what I gave you at the end of class today. And so what I really want to do is just kind of go ahead and, and kind of round out this proof for you. So I'm kind of giving you a free one here. And that's okay. So um, let's start. So we have x equals 1 half a t squared plus v naught t plus x naught. And we have v equals a t plus v naught. And now what we want to do is um, prove the following. I'm going to write this shorthand as delta x, but we know that's x minus x naught. So let's begin by isolating. So we have t is v minus v naught over a, and that's what we're going to substitute into here. So we're going to have x equals 1 half times a times v minus v naught over a squared plus v naught times v minus v naught over a plus x naught. And at this point, what most people do is they just are like, no. Um, Amelia actually described it as a monstrosity. And I love that word so much that I wanted to draw attention to that fact in order to embarrass her in this video. So continuing with that, um, not the embarrassment, the problem, uh, one half a, and I'm just going to math this like it's never been mathed, mathed before. So v squared minus 2 v v naught, oh my gosh. Uh, plus v naught squared all over a squared. What is this craziness? Um, plus v naught v minus v um, naught squared all that over a plus x naught. Oh my goodness, this is just hideous. So here we go. x equals, are you ready? Here we go. So we have v squared minus. 2v v naught plus v naught squared. All that over 2a. And I'm going to do a little fraction-y thing here. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by, um, and I'm sorry, this should be x naught at the end, um, by 2 so that I have 2 v naught v minus 2 v naught squared all over 2a so that I can combine fractions. That's not actually the word in Spanish, by the way. I just Set it that way because I'm lame. So now, continuing, we have x equals, ooh, let's put all this over one denominator. So we have v squared minus 2 v v naught plus v naught squared plus 2 v naught v minus 2 v naught squared all over 2a. Ah, really excited. Plus x naught. Will this madness never end? So look, we got this canceling with that. And oh, I can zoom out further. This is great. Now um, I can go even further with this, and I notice that I have x equals, um, we have a plus v naught squared and a minus 2 v naught squared here, so that simplifies to v squared minus v naught squared all over 2a plus x naught. Let's multiply both sides. Let's, let's actually subtract here. So we're going to end up getting here um, x minus x naught equals v squared minus v naught squared all over 2a. And then when I multiply both sides by 2a, I'm going to get v squared minus v naught squared equals 2a x minus x naught. Or when we simplify, v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a x minus x naught. Quad erat demonstrandum. Demonstratum? Demonstratum. I don't speak language. I don't speak Latin. Ask Mr. Roos. He'll, he'll tell you. Anyway, that is the proof. Um, I feel very smug at having done this for you. Um, and that's a horrible way to end a video. Okay, so at least I hope that was helpful, right? And um, 